Good afternoon, folks. It's Charles Grievous with Go Black Night Go Black Nights .com. Here with Elo Mendozi, uh, freshman uh, linebacker. Mm -hmm. But even before I get into the linebacker piece per se, uh, I want to talk about the transformation because you committed as part of the 2022 uh, recruiting class, and at that time you were six three, about one ninety five, wide receiver. Yes, sir. And, uh, and uh, you know, coming out of uh, the Sunshine State of Florida and, and headed to prep school. And, and here we are, 2023, um, with, you know, season about to begin. And currently you're playing outside linebacker, uh, tipping the scales at 220. So the proverbial question is, what happened? Talk to us about the, the move from receiver uh, to linebacker. And how did that project out? Yes, sir. Um, that that basically that switch. Uh, it kind of started in um, high school. So the spring, the spring of my senior year, um, I, I had a coach in high school that was like, he was bugging me and bugging me and bugging me to play uh, defense because he just said like, uh, like we really need your your body there. And um, I just wasn't going for it at first. I was like, no, like I'm supposed to play receiver. Like I'm meant to play receiver. And it took him. It took him like a, like a. It took him like two weeks to just, just get me. Like every single day, he was bugging me, bugging me. So, I mean, I'm like, I'm not one to like sh shy down. So, I mean, I tried it. And so my senior year, I played like the the, the rover position. So it's it's kind of similar to what, what I'm playing now. And I, I do have to say that was probably like my best, my best season I've ever had playing football. So then um, I talked to, I talked to some coaches about it. Like I talked to Coach Juice, um, who, who was the head coach at prep. And he wasn't going for it at first. He was like, he was like, nah, man, like, I want you to I want you to go up in there and like moss somebody first, do all this first. And I was like, I said, Coach, I said, I said, Coach, trust me. And then uh he did trust me. And you know, like now I'm here. And then uh definitely the transformation, it it it, it did take a lot. Like you said, um, I came into prep at like one, 190, one like barely 190, you know, and then um at the at the end of prep, I finished at like two, two twenty-five. So I, I do have to um Owe a lot to uh, Coach Nichols, who, who's the who's the uh, strength coach at Prep. He's done a lot for me, and uh, he's he's he definitely crafted me to be to be where I am right now uh, physically. So big thanks to him. And then um, now, honestly, it's just it, it was it, it was a switch at first, you know, just just from like switching like different sides of the ball that I have like totally different assignments. But uh, other than that, I mean. It kind of comes. It kind of comes natural to me, you know. I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a physical guy, and uh, I can use my my body more on defense or more than I can do on offense. Fantastic, and I, I know that uh, defense coordinator Nate Woody is really excited about the youth movement uh, on, on the defense, and he calls it very promising. I spoke to him uh, not too long ago, and and both you and and, and Tano uh, played some in the in the first and second scrimmages uh, with That's the right. veterans, and you did well. Uh, how, how do you think you're progressing, uh, and are you excited about the season uh, getting underway in a couple of weeks? Yes, sir. Um, honestly, in terms of in terms of progression, um, so fall camp, so fall camp was about two weeks ago now, and we had we had left Beast, which was like the summer training. So, right coming come come out of Beast, I uh, I was confident, but just like. I knew I knew everything was gonna be like a like a whole like a whole different like atmosphere like the the in, in terms of speed I knew that was I knew that was gonna be different and that's what I was really like keen on most so obviously that that took a little bit to to get used to just like getting the reps you know finally like finally being on like a college like college practice and uh, D one you know it, it's it's always been my dream so just like kind of kind of just like settling down and just calming down and just like playing the game that I know and love that's. That was like the, the the biggest thing, but um honestly, I think I think now I'm I'm starting to get it. You know, I, I've I've been up with the vets uh, every day, you know, and uh, I do like I do like to say that uh, I can compete with them and that I've been pro progressing well. So that's a. It's really interesting because um, probably one of the most interesting, um, um, I guess, linebacker topics that we've covered over the years has been John Radigan. Uh, John uh, didn't really start until his uh, senior year uh, at linebacker, and here he is ready to lock down a, a, a spot with the Seattle Seahawks. So uh, sometimes it takes time to get the maturation going, but uh, obviously uh, you have tremendous upside. 
So my final question is, you know, what has been the biggest adjustment uh, that you've had to make both on the field and off the field uh, when it comes to being, you know, your freshman year um, at the academy, especially um, the position change, but also as 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 a cadet? Mm-hmm. Um, For sure. So, like, uh, I do owe a lot to the prep school because, like, that was, like, the best, the best decision I honestly could have made for coming here just because, like, I kind of see the prep school like as like a like it's like kind of like a free trial. So like you go in and like you see what's you see what's you 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 find out all the tricks. You you find out the the um gimmicks for school. You, you find that schedule, you know. And then like uh in terms of football, we did the same same defense that they were they were running here. Right. So it helps a lot. Like just just kind of lock it down. And you may not know the whole defense, but like it kind of it kind of just puts it like the the the, the base level. You'll you'll understand it well. And then um, so like trans, transitioning from like uh, prep to, to not, not I'm my freshman year, it's like it's been a struggle just because um just because like we didn't have a re- reorganization week, which is which is what the other cadets got. So like it's basically like a week week where you just like um. All, all all the plebes and everyone they just kind of have a whole week to just get ready like each day is just they find their classes get their books and do all that other stuff but like while they were doing that we're, like we're at practice so like just 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 kind of catching up um like while school started it was it was a little bit of a struggle at first but um now we're in the we're in the middle of week two so I mean I've I've I found my schedule now, you know, just um, getting, just trying to find where my feet are again. And then, um, yeah. And then in terms of football, like, uh, like I said, the speed was, the speed was definitely like a, a lot to tackle at first, you know, just cause like everything's moving so fast, the call's going, you got to make sure you're in the right alignment and assignment. Um, but again, uh, everything for me, it, it just takes reps. So in, in terms of me to get comfortable, I just had to, I just had to say reps at it, reps at it, reps at it. And then, now it's all coming together. Fantastic. Well, listen, season's right around the corner. I know you guys are excited. You know, practice is practice, but this is a real deal coming up. So best of luck to you as you start off uh, the first uh, game in the season. And uh, we look forward to talking to you uh, going forward. So appreciate it, buddy. Thank you yes, so sir. much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. You too.